First carry for the former Buckeye, J.K. Dobbins. And he'll be corralled right around the 34. Give him 10 yards there, and about by the nose of the football, he's going to have a first down. It's a gain of 10. Right back to Dobbins on first. And he'll rumble for about five, up close to the 40. the ball carrier. He's brought down at the 39-yard line. Jackson on the give to Dobbins. He'll get about three as he's brought down right around the 42. Anthony Hitchens brought him down. A three-yard pickup. And it's third down. They'll try to run for it with Dobbins. And he's got a first down as he's up to the 48. Third down turns to first with that five-yard pickup. Two first downs have him up near midfield now on first and 10. And now Jackson will look to throw it. And this one goes nowhere. Losing yardage on the play back at the 46. And he was unable to shake free there. They'll cover him for a loss of a yard. Second and 11 at the 46-yard line. That pass play wound up for negative yardage, so here's second and 11. Here's Jackson. Oh, the ball comes out on the hit, but they'll say it's incomplete. Marquise Brown was the intended target, and it's third down. Pressure, and that's certainly going to be a key to this game going forward. And that time, they were able to get in there and influence the throw. Remember, quarterbacks got to get rid of it. They don't have the tuck rule that they can fall back on anymore. Escaping the pressure right. He may try and run, but I think the ball's out, and it's picked up by the Chiefs. Good job starting on that scramble. Had his eyes on that first down marker, CD, but lost the most important thing, the football. Yeah, wasn't quite there. Focused solely on getting to the first down marker. Forgot to cover up and take care of the ball. And on their first drive, the offense staying out there. They're going to go for it on fourth. They're running. Ingram. Ingram unable to get past the marker. And this defense is going to get the football back near midfield right at the 48. Mahomes will lead the Chiefs up first and 10, just shy of midfield at the 48. He's back to throw here to start the drive. And this one caught by Travis Kelsey. And he is tackled inside the 40, not quite to the 35. 15 yards is the pick up there and the drive starting very nicely. First down. Now the first carry for Le'Veon Bell. Number He'll get a nice chunk there on the first down run, and it's second and four. He's tackled at the a quick burst there, and he nicely bit off a pretty decent game. The last run got six, now second and four. Looking to throw is Mahomes. Complete the tight end, Kelsey. And he'll go down here right around the 23-yard line. That one, a first down pickup of eight. First and jam at the 23-yard line. Holmes now on first down. And he was hit as he threw it there, and it forces it incomplete. Intended for Travis Kelsey. Once again, they'll go from the 23-yard line on second and 10. At the 23-yard line. Throwing now is Mahomes. And he'll go back to Kelsey. This time it's caught. And they'll get this down to the 10. A gain of 13. It's a first down. So not quite a first and goal. It's first and 10 from the 10. On first down, Mahomes. And the throw left sideline here is caught, but they'll rule it incomplete. Couldn't keep his feet in. Second down. 
So now down. second and ten after the incompletion on first down. Now it's Mahomes again. That to his running back, Edwards Hilaire. And the stop will come inside the five at the four. They get six. That'll leave them with third and four. Makes it third and Here's the seventh play of this drive. This is third and four. Again, they'll throw with Mahomes. This will be caught just inside the ten. And he is out of bounds here. Give him a gain of four, able to convert, and that sets up first and goal now. So when you saw him dump it off to the back, did you think he was going to pick up the first down there? What? Well, I knew one thing. It wasn't his primary target. At least it didn't look like it. Down at the two. Derek Wolf popping in for the sack. Back at the two now. Here's second and goal. Two-yard line. Mahomes now to throw. He'll find Clyde Edwards aware. Not able to get a single yard there, and it'll bring up third down. And that's when it's fun to play defense. When you're able to diagnose a play right from the beginning, get all your guys to the football and spill the play, that's when you have a lot of fun playing on that side of the ball. 48, 48 to Mike. Silver, silver. Here's Mahomes, third and goal toward the end zone, but that's going to wind up incomplete. So it's been a long drive. They've held the ball for quite a while. Now what do you do here? Well, to me, at this stage after this drive, this close to the goal line, three points would be a letdown. I'm going for it here. So on fourth down, Mahomes off, Harrison Butker on for the Chiefs field goal. From the right hash at a bit of a tight angle. Butker's kick here is good. Well, after marching down the field, only getting three there, kind of feels like a win for the defense. And it does. They'll go to the sideline feeling a lot better that they didn't give up a touchdown after the march against them. But if I were the offense, I wouldn't hang my head over that one. That's a good drive, and three points were put on the board. And he will be brought down here inside the 20. Good coverage as he's dropped at the 17. At their own 17-yard line. The Raven offense set at the line for this next drive. And on that last drive, went for it on fourth, turned it over. A good job by their defense, though. They held him to three, but this offense, they've got to be a little bit better, a little bit more careful here. And sometimes when you see these calls on fourth down, when they decide... And he's going to have to eat this one as down he goes. Tyron Matthew, normally known for the pass coverage. This time a sack. And their inaugural sack of the game coming from an unlikely source. You mean it wasn't a linebacker? It wasn't a defensive end? It was somebody like you. Oh, my goodness. Yeah, that's a surprise for the offense. That's not what they normally get when they think about pressure. Another try after the first down sack. Jackson. You tell they wanted to get that ball downfield, but they had nothing working in the secondary, so he dropped it off to the running back. That one ended up incomplete. An incomplete pass on that last play, and that means they'll need to come up with something here on third down. Jackson. He's going deep for Brown. And this is going to be intercepted at the 40-yard line. What a start defensively. Your offense goes out, gets the touchdown, and then you get the interception. Just perfect. How about the discipline that they showed on defense? Because after the offense scored to go up 7-zip, you would think they might be a little extra aggressive trying to get back at them. Instead, they read their keys well. When they took the shot downfield, they were more than prepared for that one. They'll start the drive with a carry by Bell. And taking it across midfield and inside the 45. 16 yards right off the bat and a first down. First and 10 at the 43-yard line. Throwing on first down is Mahomes. And he just gets rid of it, throws it away. The wise move there looked like nobody open, now second down. So much for the best laid plans and best designed plays. That was good coverage along the sidelines. No place for that one to get in there. It sails incomplete. 
So second down, still 10 yards to go. Ball on the 43. To throw, it's Mahomes. He rifles one that's intercepted. Picked off by Marlon Humphrey. And he's able to get it back to the 41-yard line. Well, timing is everything on a route like this. He tried to drive that football into a tight spot. And if you're a little early or a little late, chances are there's going to be someone there. And sure enough, this one's going the other way. Jackson and the Ravens come up now first and 10 at the 41-yard line. And nothing doing. He's immediately taken down at the line of scrimmage. Credit to tackle Natano Passigno. Brings up second down. Now Jackson on second down. Rolling to his right. And his throw is going to be incomplete. Hollywood Brown, the intended receiver. And it's third down. That was an interesting look there because as soon as he got outside the pocket, I thought he was going to take off and run for yardage. But what often happens now with these quarterbacks who can move, Defenses want to try and keep bodies in front of them, and I think that discouraged him from taking off and made him try a pass downfield that fell incomplete. And that is incomplete. Oh, he had a defender right there with him to force that to the ground. And fourth down now coming up. As his old brain remembers, when I see five wide receivers on the field as a defender, I know the ball's coming out hot. They expected it and got there and popped it free. On is the punter, Cook, who sends it away. The Chiefs take over first and 10 at their own 20-yard line. The Chiefs offense about set to begin this drive. They've got a 3-0 lead and the football as they start first and 10. They go back to the air here after the INT on the last drive. And that's caught inside the 35. One play at a time. Here we and go. all the way in for a Kansas City touchdown. Tyreek Hill, an 80-yard touchdown. And the Chiefs strike quickly here for six points. One play, 80 yards. Pretty easy drive to recap. <laughs> it certainly is, but not so easy to execute. Starting on your own 20, you want something to kickstart your drive and get it off to a nice start. They went for the whole thing and got it. That's a great way to send a message to the opposing team. He's got it, and now it's a 10-0 lead here in the opening quarter. Makes the score. Chiefs 10, Ravens nothing. Now after the touchdown, here's Butker on to kick it away. Fair catch made at the 25-yard line. The Ravens take over first and 10 at their own 25-yard line. The Raven offense set at the line for this next drive. And three and out on the last drive. No points on the scoreboard. A little soul searching now? I would say so. And they need to help out their defense a little bit. They've had to be on the yeah, field a lot position. more than normal. Put them in some tough spots. But what's the old adage? When you get another chance, it gives you a better chance to do it right. Flushed out right. And he can't find anywhere to go with it. And he goes down. Tano Passigno. In there to bury him for a loss of 11. It's second down. To try again after the sack. Jackson. And he's going to go down again. The Mississippi State man, Chris Jones, with a sack there. 10-0 to score after one on EA Sports. sack they'll come up now third and long yeah I wouldn't be surprised to see them run the ball here just to try and get some space uh, no run call here they'll look to four yard line Frank Clark that's now back to back sacks and it brings up fourth down yeah, no. 
Here we go on fourth down with Jackson. Flush to his right. Now on the run, he'll throw it back deep over the middle. And this is going to be incomplete. Boy, a real head scratcher there. And my goodness, that means this next drive will begin four yards from the end zone already. Now this is a nice little gift wrap situation as they take over first and goal. Now Bell, and he's going to get this back to the three-yard line and no further. No gain on the play that time, and it sets up second and goal. No gain on the play. Second down and goal. Mahomes, his pass caught at the four. And he'll go backwards, losing yardage to the five. It'll be a loss of a couple on the play, so now third down coming up. Big play coming here. It's third and goal. Here's Bell, and he is in. Touchdown, Kansas City. A five-yard touchdown run, and the Chiefs head on to their lead. Well, he decided to run it in and got it done on third and goal. A lot of times, that's a passing play. And the kicker, this has to come out for the PAT. He can breathe the sigh of relief as well, right? Although, I don't know if he's really breathing a sigh of relief. I think he likes to put three points on his ledger. now to add the extra point. He's got it, and it's 17-0. Makes the score, Chiefs 17, Ravens nothing. Now after the touchdown, here's Butker on to kick it away. And they will not get a chance to return this one as it's through the end zone for a touchback. The Raven offense set at the line for this next drive. And we don't want to call this desperation time, especially in the second quarter, but you're you don't down. don't want to. Well, no, but well, let me finish. Okay, my bad. You're down three scores already. You've done nothing offensively, nothing on the scoreboard. That's that's not a good combination. I think you just, you called, it I think you just called it desperation time. I think <laughs> yeah. you did. But let's face it, you mentioned this to me in a break earlier in the game. The energy level hasn't been there right from the start. We've noticed that. They've got to find a way to get on their toes and start punching instead of retreating to use a boxing analogy. A three-yard gain on the play. On third down, Mark Ingram. And he will have a first down as they get him to the ground at the 37. Bit of a surprise. They ran it on third and medium. Proved to be the right call. First and 10. This is Ingram on first and 10. Ingram's got the first down and more. And all the way down to the 41-yard line. That's good for 21 yards and a first down. We often poke a little fun at running backs past the age of 30. Oh, they're getting old. They can't run anymore. Well, he's showing past the age of 30, you can still have some nice runs like that. You certainly can, and I think that we're starting to expand our definition of old running. And oh, his first carry, he loses the football. And I think the Chiefs have it. They do. Well, he's going to have to shake out the cobwebs first time he touches the football and he drops it on the ground. So many times we talk about quarterbacks and taking care of them early to get them in the flow with safe throws, right? But with a runner, there is no such thing as a safe run, right? <laughs> right out of the gate, you're going to be admit, you're going to be in some traffic. Got to take care of the ball, and he didn't do that. Mahomes will lead the Chiefs up first and 10 at their 36-yard line. Now, after the fumble recovery, it's Mahomes. And he'll be out of bounds after getting this one across the 40. Complete to Clyde. Just about every quarterback is trained to really look downfield first before you come back and make a nice, safe throw. And in this case, that's exactly what he did. Found his running back, let him create some space, and it turned out to be a nice play for the offense. Just a one-yard pickup on the play. And that's going to bring out the third down. The Chiefs on third down. They've been okay, two for three thus far. Here it's third and two. Mahomes going to throw. And going deep for Hill. And unable to connect. Incomplete. Now give them credit. They took their shot, but it's going to bring up fourth down. 
Yeah. Well, the first two drives yielded touchdowns, so there's no reason for them to feel like they have to pull back on the reins. They pushed it downfield, looking for another one right there. Didn't get it, but we know they're going to continue to be bold. Here we go, fourth down, Mahomes. And it's complete to Kelsey. And he takes this just a few yards shy of the red zone before going out. Fourth down conversion plays, you usually think one, two, three yards, maybe ten. Not there. What a huge pickup as the sticks make a drastic shift forward. Five yards is the tally on first down. That brings up second and five. That's a really nice job by them picking up the run blitz and detecting it and blocking it and turning it into a nice run. And a lot of times you think if you blitz a running play, you're going to smother it. But a lot of the blitzers, they come in a little bit high. They don't have great leverage, and they're easily blocked and turned to the side. And he is out of bounds. Looks like right at the 15. Four yards on the completion, and it sets up a third down. The Chiefs on third down. They've hit two for four thus far. This time they face a third and two. Now Mahomes. He is going to find Hill here. And he picks up the first as he's able to take it down to the seven-yard line. They're able to convert on third down, and that sets up a first and goal. At the seven-yard line. Here's Mahomes to throw. And he will take it on in for a Chiefs touchdown. A seven-yard touchdown grab. So the Chiefs are able to extend their lead. Didn't have anything downfield, swung it out to the flat. He did the rest. Such a staple of so many offenses we see now. You know, in our discussions with offense coordinators, how many times do they tell us, hey, this offense is designed for either a touchdown or a check down. We saw the check down on that play, and boy, was it successful. We saw a touchdown, too. Bunker on for the PAT. And the lead is now 24. Makes the score Chiefs 24, Ravens nothing. Harrison Butker to kick off for Kansas City. Now after the touchdown, here's Butker on to kick it away. And this will be a touchback as Ed sails over the end line. 25-yard line. The Raven offense set at the line for this next drive. And some dangerous territory. You're already down three scores. A three and out here or an inability to put any points up. This one might be over by half. Yeah, and what you also have to guard against is calling every play for a big shot downfield. You know, thinking you're going to get all these points back on one drive. You're not. And last time I looked, it's still the first half. I'm not saying you have ultimate patience here, but you also don't have to go ahead and pull it. And this is caught at the 20. And down to the 20. It's a big play there for Baltimore. 46 yards. That is definitely what we call on defense an uh-oh play. And what you mean by that is against Lamar Jackson. When you see him out of the pocket, your first thought is, uh-oh, he's going to try and run it. How do I get to him and get him on the ground? And guess what? That didn't happen, and his receivers took advantage. And he's brought down just outside of the 10 at the 11. It'll be a gain of eight yards, and it's a second down. At the 11-yard line. Eluding the pressure right. And now he's going to use his legs. All in all, no gain on the play, and it'll bring up third. And they don't need to run another play here before the two-minute warning. Let's see if they do it anyway. Third down. 
Dancing to it. Jackson hit, and he lost the football. And I think the Chiefs have it. They do. And that play just looked a little helter-skelter from the start. That's the risk as a quarterback. Once you take off with that football, you might fumble it, and he did. And he was going for the reward, which is gaining yardage, breaking down a defense. But you're right about the risk. Always lurking out there. Someone always trying to get to the football. Try to find a place to cover up and slide and protect what you've earned. The KC offense out of the huddle, ready for their next drive. They are just putting things together so well here, drive after drive. They really have captured the momentum, haven't they? They've taken momentum and pretty much not just give them a jersey, but a seat on the bench as well. Whatever do you need, you've got it because the way they're straight. Now the pressure comes and he goes down. Just inside the 10, back at the 9. We remind you that coming up at halftime, Jonathan Coachman will be alongside. He'll have highlights and analysis from Orlando of this first half of action. After the sack on first down, Mahomes caught Kelsey left side. And I think he's going to go. They're not going to get him. Yeah, yeah. That's a flag on the plate. Yeah, yeah.